PC won't turn on, don't panic. Let's walk through three quick checks that could save your system and your sanity. Check number one, power supply connection. First, double check your power supply. Is the switch flipped on? Is it firmly plugged into the wall and your PC? Make sure to inspect the 24 pin connector on the motherboard. It should click firmly into place. Bonus tip, got a power strip or bank? Make sure that that's switched on too. It's very easy to miss. Check number two, front panel connectors. Secondly, check the power button cable. It should be snug and correctly positioned on the motherboard pins. If unsure, refer to your motherboard manual or use a screwdriver to momentarily short the power pins and test it. I've actually shown how to do this in one of my previous videos where I repaired a motherboard from eBay. So be sure to check that out. Bonus tip, some motherboards have unboard power buttons. If yours does, use that and rule out any case wiring issues. Check number three, short circuit or grounding issue. Third, check for grounding problems. Extra standoff, loose screws, or contact between the board and metal can cause a short. If you're unsure, try booting the motherboard outside of the case on a non-conductive surface. I find using a cardboard box easiest if you've got nothing else to work with. Bonus tip, don't forget that some GPUs and RAM need extra power cables too. So don't forget to double check those at the same time. So this is a simple three step guide, but wait, I have one more bonus tip for you. Check the CMOS battery. If your PC is completely dead, sometimes it's just this little guy causing all the drama. No battery, no boot, no BIOS, no nothing. Check the CMOS battery. Still nothing? Try a hard reset. Unplug the power, hold the power button down for 15 seconds to discharge any leftover electricity from the capacitors, then remove all the components and add them back in one at a time. Start with the CPU, one stick of RAM and the GPU if there's no onboard graphics. This will help you to pinpoint which specific part is causing the issue. If this video saved your sanity, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. It costs nothing, unlike your last PC repair.